I'm just leaving NYU Dental right now. I didn't go back to the dentist where I got the permanent crown fitted just because I didn't like the way they did things. So I came here and they're just so much more thorough. I'm going to the VA hospital right now to check on that other health problem and I'll update you very, very soon. The plan still is to go on the trail. Um, though with all the work I need done on my teeth, that just might not be a reality. I'm gonna try my hardest to do that, but I just, it might be best to just go somewhere and, and rebuild the bankroll and and work out as hard as I can somewhere else. Maybe maybe do some three or four day trips on the trail along with that. I'm standing right now in front of the VA right now, just thinking to myself how ingrained I am in this neighborhood. My grandparents met literally about a thousand yards away from me, two blocks away from me, down at the pool on 23rd Street near the river. And it's just amazing to me that here I am at the VA getting checked up and if they hadn't met all those years ago, I wouldn't be here. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm just waiting on my medication. My nurse here was great. My doctor wasn't so good. She didn't even lay hands on me. I had to talk her into giving me a referral um, for the condition I have because um, I don't have a primary care doc here because I haven't had like an actual checkup in so long. I'm sitting here after the dentist and my VA visit just thinking about how much the trail is gonna help me just with my confidence level. There was this extremely beautiful, cute nurse in the ER that helped me. She was great, red hair, perfect skin. She was extremely sweet. And um, I just didn't have the nerve to ask her out just because just because of where I'm at in my life right now. I almost want to do the trail and then and then go back to the ER at the VA and uh, hopefully someone hasn't snagged her by then or hopefully someone hasn't uh, snagged her already. Anyway, at that point I just I just know I'll be okay to, to talk to beautiful women again and and date them and I know I shouldn't be looking for love and I'm not, but I guess it just happens that way. How is my beard looking, guys? I'm here in my regular spot. I just picked up the mail. Nothing too interesting. Came to realize today as I was walking around a bit, not too much, mind you, that my feet aren't ready for the trail. I think physically I can handle the first few days, the first couple weeks, but my feet are, are not ready for this much walking, this much hiking. So over the next few days, while I get my teeth figured out, while I go to the doctor, I am going to come into the city every day and just walk for a minimum of like six hours. I know that seems like a lot, but I'll be doing around that on the trail. Maybe I'll take a rest day or two. I won't have that, um, that luxury on the trail, except for when I'm in town. Um, so that's the plan. Just walk a lot, get my feet ready. That will get my body into a little better shape too. Um, and while I'm doing that, why not do some Postmates? So I'm gonna do some walking Postmates. I'm not gonna make that much money. I don't see myself making more than like max 60 or $70 a day. Um, but why not do something like that while I'm walking? If I figure out other things to do other than Postmates, I'll do that. But I wanna get the best shots of the city before I get on the trail. And I just wanna get the feet, my, my, the skin on my feet ready for the trail. And real quick, it's almost like Luke a few weeks ago. For myself this time, I've got clindamycin, which I have to take two tablets of every six hours. It's an antibiotic for the infection that it seems like I have my arm. I'm gonna show you right now. This is it. You can see it's a little red around the edges and it's raised up. Now practice guidelines, practice guidelines means um, like symptoms or signs within a person's body, within an animal's body that will kind of foretell what, what they might have. And what the practice guidelines on my skin, on my, on my freckle say is that it's um, a melanoma, skin cancer. 
I'm not that concerned. Skin cancer is extremely curable, um, but that's what I was worried about last week, what I told you about a few days ago, and they gave me that. Um, they also gave me some naproxen, because um, the dentist I went to, NYU Med School, uh, they don't give out drugs. They don't even prescribe drugs um, if you are in pain. So I got some of that. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use it. It's not that powerful. I do have some Motrin at home. So with that, I bid you guys good night. And uh, let's see how this looks in two or three months. I don't know. I mean, I, I thought about shaving it, but but why do that? I'm getting on the trail, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. And I'm wondering what it is I should do. It's so hard to keep the smile from my face.